Hey guys, Kevin Jackson here with a quick command tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to add a full page mortgage calculator to your website. It looks really good on mobile too. And as you can see, it's a very in-depth calculator where you can fill in a lot of different terms. There's even an amortization table right here. So you can see the pay down over the years. So let's get started. We're going to go over to command, go down to sites at the bottom left and click create a new site at the top right. You want it on your agent's site and then you're going to create the page. I'm going to go ahead and give this page a name, call it calc, and you're going to want to drag a contact form over to the left and then click content blocks and add a text box to the very top of the page. And at this point I like to configure widgets, press done, and then save changes. And then we're going to go back in and edit it. That way it doesn't erase anything because sometimes it won't save the first try. So you're going to click these three dots on the right side and click edit. And as that's loading, we're going to go over here to mortgagecalculator.org and you're going to click this top right widget and go to full page calc. As you can see, you can fill in the different details. This will be the default on your page. As you can see on mine, I changed the home value to 450, changed the loan amount, but people that use the calculator are going to fill in their own information anyway, so don't worry too much about what you put in here. You're going to go down here to where it says Step 2, Copy Your Source Code, and you're going to click Copy to Clipboard at the top right of this box. You'll see it said Copied. We're going to head back over to Command, where this page is now loaded. Make sure you click the X on this bottom bar that pops up, and then go up here to your text box, and erase that pre-written text and then just go ahead and copy in your code and then we're going to click configure widget and we see that it automatically populates right there if you want to adjust the contact form at the bottom you're going to click this arrow to the right and you can fill in any information there you'd like go ahead and change this to a cell phone rather than the office number and then click save and apply at the bottom and save changes at the top and then yes you do want to publish so now that the page is created we have to go and add it to the website so we're going to go up to agent site settings click on the pages tab on the right side scroll down and on the left you'll see add page you want to give your page a title this is what displays on your website menu and the URL slug. If you want to write an SEO description, that goes right in this big box. And then you have to click Select Page at the bottom left to select that new page you just created. Press Continue and Save Changes. Now when we go back to our website, we should see our new page that's been added. So right there at the bottom, my calc page. And just like that, you have your mortgage calculator. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next video.